Hello everyone, my name is Daniel J. Robinson and today I'm going to be showing all of you my ceramics projects. Now these are um, projects, uh, ceramics projects I did when I was a sophomore and this is during the second semester so this would have been um, the winter to spring of 2018. So it's been over two years since I've done all these uh, ceramics stuff since I've made all of them. And basically they were just um, sitting at the top of um, a freezer um, in the dining room downstairs where I live. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what, why not I just show these things off for a video. And I actually thought about that a while ago. For the longest time I'm like, I'll eventually make a video on it and all that stuff. And then today I see, oh, I don't have a video scheduled for today or you know, nothing ready. And it's 8, 11 p.m., so I'm sorry if this is coming um, out later than usual, but whatever, who cares, it's a video for today. Um, so there's five different ceramics projects I did. I thought I did more. I think I'm, I'm sure I did more, but maybe they're just lost or broken. I threw them away. Who knows what happened to them? I mean, I I had to have done more, but I, I don't know where they're at. Is there like... No, I don't know where they're at. Um, but anyways... Um, so I'm going to be showing them from the least cool to the most cool, and they all pretty much suck. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So I believe out of all of these, the first one I would have done would be um, this little cup thing right here. So basically, um, we um, I don't remember how exactly all these things are made. You can still see that like the it's not even all painted all the way. The inside isn't painted and all that. Um, but we had these like little like these shape things or whatever, and you, and you press it in, and you know, and you make a little shape. So, for example, this one um, at the top. Oh, I remember it actually made a circle shape. So you had this like little circular thing, like little plastic thing or whatever. It had a bunch of shapes on it, but you could press it in and make a shape. And what I did then, as you can see, if you look around, hold on, let me get a good angle. At the top, if you look around the circles. I um I used like um. A toothpick. I don't know what I use. A toothpick, something like that. Uh, I don't know what I use or whatever. And I cross and I made an X out of it. And you can see in the middle, there's another shape. Uh, it looks kind of like a like a car tire. I know it's not, but I don't know. So you can see that. Um, I only get focus. This is actually a pretty good freaking webcam. This is a fifty dollar webcam, I think. Now it probably costs more. I don't know. But whatever. Um, you can see, and then there's on the bottom, there's like um, this like a key shape or like a oh yeah, it looks like a like a like a like a mechanical wheel or something. It has like the spikes around the edge of it or whatever. I'm looking at. Uh, sorry if I'm not like being super um, you know, on point with my finger. I'm look actually looking at my you know computer screen and what I'm recording that should be, um see what I'm, what I'm looking at. And at the bottom, what are these shapes? They're like little rectangular or square things. I don't know. I just pressed that into them as well. And I painted the top orange. And I painted the um the the bottom uh like purple or something. It kind of looks weird on camera. It kind of looks yellow on video, but it's actually it's actually orange. It looks really yellow on camera for some reason, huh? That's weird. I wonder if there's something wrong with like my camera covering, you know, the saturation or whatever. I don't know. But, um, so there's that, um, and as you can see, there's like a bit of a wave in the middle, and that's because I believe I, I also, um, you know, around the edge, I like made, I used a little toothpick thing, I don't, I don't know what I use, I have no clue, but some, I'll just say toothpick thing, so I used some sort of toothpick thing, and I carved like a wave around it so I could see, you know, oh, I'll paint the top orange, paint the bottom a uh, purple, and I used that line I made around it to make sure I didn't like cross over or anything, as you can see. It's a fairly okay wave. It ain't like it's inconsistent or anything like that. Oh, that's inconsistent. I screwed up there. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> uh, and with the formation of how this is made, um, I don't remember. I think what we'd do is we'd have like a, we'd start out with like a flat little clay thing or whatever. And then you'd fold up the sides. But I don't remember. I, I don't know how I made this stuff. And I don't care. <laughs> sorry, I'm not like a ceramics teacher. Or if you like ceramics, I'm sorry. You know, if I um, I'm not I'm not trying to be disrespectful, or whatever. But I just don't know anything about it because this is my only experience with ceramics for the most part. Um, ever. I think I did some ceramic stuff when I was in like elementary school, middle school, maybe a couple things, but 
I don't know. Nothing like these things, though. Um, and, and, and the thing is, I didn't even originally was never even going to take ceramics. I just um, failed the second half. Or I took one semester of a year-long class, which was a Spanish 2 honors, which I took after I Spanish 2 CP. But yeah, I still, um, <laughs> I still was doing very bad. Very bad. So I just, um, I just, um, quit that class and I moved to ceramics for the second semester and I'm actually very glad I did. So this next one, um, so it's colored pink. It it looks white, but let me see. Uh, It does look kind of white in real life. It ain't like super pink or anything, but it's very, very faded pink. Very faded. If you look on the outside, you can see, you can see the difference. You can see that it's kind of more pink than on the outside you know and compared to the white on the inside you can tell that um there's been something painted um but around the edges um it's better for me to just look at it in real life real quick um so there's like this um this giant circle so if you look around the the edge not the blue thing but you can see there's like a line around the blue thing and it's a circle and then within that i tried to paint it blue or something i don't know what i did And I carved in, I think this is like a carving project. And this last one, you can see that there's no carving whatsoever, nothing carved. And this one, it was basically, we did the same thing, but this time we carved into it. And I remember the tool we used, it was like this weird triangular looking thing. And I like carved the edges of it. And um, basically I, you know, and then I'd stick it in a bit and then I'd move the little, you know, carving thing, you know, upward a bit and then pull it out or something like that. But as you can see, the triangles are not really that good of triangles. And they're super inconsistent. That's actually... This one's not that bad. But, oh, God. That looks like a freaking almond. <laughs> yeah, so they're not good. And as you can see around the edges, there's like these like wavy lines or something. I just did a little cool design or whatever or something like that. But that's it with that. Um, so the next thing I did, the next coolest... Or, or the... Or... Um, yeah, so this, this next scene is cooler or, you know, more complex or whatever. And it's actually, um, so it's a little cup thing that we did, but then we add stuff to it. So it is a, it is like a bird or whatever with a unicorn. Yes. And one of the ears, so look, so there's like a white hole. This ear, (laughs) um, fell off. And I guess you can see if I, if I try to reattach it, if I can reattach it. Well, or just, you know, you can see that this is where it's stuck. And you can, as you can see, the ear is like really horrible. I'm just going to leave this aside before I drop it. But, um, yeah, that, that fell off. Uh, I think it fell off during the cremation, um, not cremation. Oh God. Uh, um, I don't know. While it was in the furnace or whatever it is, but it heated up to 2000 degrees to make it, you know, solid still and all that and feel really heavy or whatever. Um, oh god, it looks like there's like blood on the, um, on the tip of the, oh gosh, I can't point to it, uh, on the tip of the unicorn. Ah, I'm terrible. You can see right there, it looks like there's blood, but no, it's just paint. So there's like a duck, and it has like two eyes. Um, the edge of it, or the cup itself is like colored, bl- is painted blue, the wings are pink, um unicorn uh hoof thing i'm terrible i cannot speak english i need to, I, need to <laughs> I haven't been doing much in the past few months um obviously if you see when this was uploaded you'll know why um a yellow unicorn thing and a, a red beak so yeah so basically this one we were just um so there's a bit of a little bit of carving with the eyes but then we just attached some stuff and stuck it to it so that's what we added for that one this next one is a big jump in coolness, or I guess that's what I'll call it for these videos. How, you know, how cool it is. So I get, so we've gone through three things. There's two more. So the second coolest thing I did is I made a birdhouse. And as you can see, this is way bigger and wow, the red, it looks really red on camera. I like how this is like the opposite one. The other ones, it's like, huh, that looks kind of. You barely see the color on that one. On this one, it's like pfft, blood red, lava red, whatever. Um, so the top of it is painted blue. Um, that's the, I think um, 
originally we made like um like these like four walls or something and there was never like a, a roof on it so we attached it so as you can see like here and all that you can tell it's like attached on top i just tried to put it on and um you can see the red i didn't really paint it well whatever it was it was only two years ago it's anything like i was young, it was like too young or whatever it's just like i'd be just as good now if i were to paint this now or um work on these things now i'd be just as good um the windows are triangular shape i'm trying not to drop it um the bottom, bottom is not painted Ooh, it has my initial initials daniel robinson and then that is p9 which stands for period nine so it was my ninth period of the day um, we don't worry. I didn't have nine classes. It's weird how my school did things. Um, so the yellow things that stick out, they, um, they kind of, um, they can fit into, um, so you see this triangle thing, if I like push that up, which I can't, it would fit onto, um, this window thing. So it's like, if I want to close the window, I could push that up, but it doesn't do that. Of course. Um, if I move this around, you can see one of the sides, this one. It does not. I guess that's where they could enter in. But here's the thing. These holes are really small. So birds, could they actually fit in here? No. Baby birds maybe. But I'm not going to test it out. And here's the thing. I don't want to give this thing to the birds. So freaking drop it and I'll break. I'll kill a couple birds. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this on my freezer. <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. It's just not good. And as you can see, there's a bunch of circular holes on it. Um, we had one of those like plastic, you know, sheet things where you could press it into the clay. And I did that all around all around it i'm just gonna move it up and down so you can see move up and down and then the brown um i think i just I attached like like a like a strip of clay or whatever and attached it to the edge and then what i did is i used like a little um toothpick thing or or maybe it was that weird carving thing i told you about um you know where i dug into it and pulled some of the clay out maybe i just used that to you know put the lines i think i did so as you can see, I made like layers of like five or so, and I also um, crossed. Hold on, I crossed across the wall on the edge, and I made like five rows. And it's like a little bit of each section. Wow, this is you can see like the cracks. This looks like a freaking 4K camera. Look at this. Look at that quality. Okay, goodness gracious. Okay, but um, I think that's it for that one. And now the final thing I'm going to show you. <laughs> it's the best thing I made, but also, <laughs> oh dear. So, oh, hopefully you didn't see that. Um, <laughs> so here on uh, my computer screen, I have a uh, Greek pottery. So th I got these like Greek pots, and you can see how smooth the edges are, and all that, and whatever. You can see how smooth the edges are. That's basically the main thing. And it's like some of them have handles, mine doesn't. But whatever. Um, <laughs> so, let's see what mine looks like. So, let's see how smooth the edges are on mine. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was doing kind of B minus ish or whatever until I got right here. Oh no, I because I was trying to like move it, you, you know how the topic gets a bit more narrow. I was trying to do that, but oh no, I just didn't know how to make the transition. I just ended up just being like a whole nother section. And it's like a whole part you could like walk around or whatever. You know, you like walk around this, you know, on, on the on the Greek pot, uh, uh, you know, Greek pots. You couldn't walk around on this, you'd slide right off. But I'm mine. Well, you can. <laughs> um, okay, so this is like a bit of a story. So let's see where it begins. So it's a it's a hedgehog. So here, I'm just trying to see the order. So here we have a sleeping hedgehog. You can see that. And then here, it opens its eyes. And actually, I'm actually pretty good at making the... Um, and making the uh, the hedgehogs like spines. I was really good at that for some reason. I did like my own design. I didn't um, do anything weird. So basically, if you can see well, uh, you see like at the top, it's like moving um, outwards from the hedgehog, 
But then as it gets um, down below, it, they're kind of like starting to go sideways. They're, they're kind of like meeting each other at the very bottom below the nose. There we go. That's really good. You can see it well there. So there the hedgehog sleeping. I, you can see the dashes for eyes. Then it opens. They're like circular. Then that's, that's it starting to get up. You can see like its hands and its feet. That looks terrible. And then it, um, it's trying to get up. It turns to its side. It gets on its feet. You can see right there. And then the hedgehog starts running. You can see its tail. You can see its mouth. You can see its tongue sticking out. And then that's where it ends. And that's where it just begins again. I should have made like a transition where it like falls down and then falls asleep again. But too lazy. Um, and then there's other designs. I had like, uh, you can see like this like a line that goes around and all that. You can see the line that I made. I probably made the hedgehogs first, which is why this line right here is like uh, moving upwards. Um, so I moved this around. You can see like these like weird like arc looking things where I just basically carved in and I don't know what I did. I did that all around. It's painted green. This hurts to hold up and I'm afraid I've been, I was going to like drop out my keyboard and break this, break my keyboard. Break my mic, break my back, break my shoulders because they hurt holding this. It falls forward onto my monitor, breaks that. Oh, good grief. Um, ooh, just a bunch of dust on some of these things. But um, that's that, and I think that's all I have to show for my Greek, um, not, not, not my Greek, my ceramic, my ceramics projects. Um, if you have any questions or any thoughts or just any comments, whatever, um, leave them down below. Um, and as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share.